Hello, this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. Here in this video, we are going to learn how to do the long division of polynomials. It is just like the normal long division, except for few variations. So let us see how to do this. The first question taken here is divide x square plus 4x minus 8 by x minus 2. This one is the dividend and you are going to divide by the divisor, right? So this one is the divisor and this is the dividend. So let us do like how we do the normal long division. Let me write the dividend inside this these two lines. So it will be written here. It is x squared plus 4x minus 8. And this is being divided by x minus the divisor you put outside. Okay. So, now what should we do first? For, just look at this x term and see what you need to multiply this x with so that you get the first term here. Okay. So, you need to multiply x with an x. Okay. To make it x square. Right. So, put that x on top. That is your quotient. Okay. So, here this x times x would give you x squared. So write the answer here that is x squared. Now you need to multiply both these uh, with this x right. So x minus 2 is minus 2x. Did you get that? To find the quotient all you need to do is just check the first term here it is x squared. So see what you need to do to this x to make it x squared. So you just need to multiply by x. So that is what I have written here. Then after writing the x here, you multiply these two terms, the divisor with this x and write it down here. Now you need to subtract this from the line above. Okay. So to subtract, just change the sign of the second line. Just change the sign of all terms in the second line. Since x squared is positive, I make it negative. Here this 2x is negative so I make it positive. So this is the new sign you have now. Okay. So this x square minus x square will get cancelled. So that becomes a 0. Now here you have 4x plus 2x. It is no more minus 2x. You have converted, you have changed it to plus 2x. Right. So that will give you 6x. Right. Now you need to bring down the next term, next term that is this constant. So it is minus 8 here. Got it? Yeah. Next. Here you have 6x. So you need to see what you need to multiply this x term to get 6x. So that is it is a plus 6x right. So you just need to multiply it with plus 6. So plus 6 times x will give you 6x and plus 6 minus 2 will give you minus 12. Right? And as I said already you have to change the sign. You need to subtract them so your sign will get changed. The say sign of the terms of second line will be changed. So this will become 6x minus 6x so that is a 0. And here it is minus 8 plus 12. So that is a 4. So no more term to bring it down. And this 4 is your reminder. Okay. You can write your answer like you put the quotient x plus 6. And the reminder you can show like this as 4. Reminder 4. Or. You can write it this way. You write it as a mixed fraction. So x the quotient is a whole number. So you write it like this. And this 4 is a fraction right. 4 divided by x minus 2. Will be your answer. Here you have x cube minus 1. You are going to divide by x minus 1. Here given is you have one a cubic uh, term. And then straight away you have a constant. So the square term and the x term is missing here. But by before dividing you will have to fill in all that. Okay. It should be written. Uh, the exponent should 
be written in uh, decreasing order. So here it would be x cubed. The x squared term is not there. So you can just put 0 x squared. That doesn't make any difference. Okay. Plus 0 x minus 1. So this is what we have got as quotient. Divisor is x minus 1. Okay. Now again you have to check like you have x cubed here. So you have to multiply the x with x squared. Right. So you multiply with x squared to get x cubed. So what happens? Now you have to multiply both these terms with x squared. Right. So that would become x cubed x cubed minus 1 times x squared is minus 1 x squared, right? Good. Now you need to change the sign. You have to subtract. So that means you have to change the sign. So what happens is x cubed will get cancelled and you will have x squared here, okay? Now bring down the next term. So your next term is plus 0 x. What should you do to the x to get uh, x square here? So you need to multiply it with plus x, right? So you are going to multiply with plus x. So this becomes x square. And x minus 1 is minus x. Got it? So again, you can change the sign. Don't forget to change the sign of the second line because we are subtracting at each stage. So this is x. Now bring down the next term. It is minus 1. So here you just need to multiply with plus 1. So you get x minus 1 here, right? Now when you change the sign to subtract, what happens? Both will get cancelled. You are left with no terms. So... Your reminder is 0. Okay. So your reminder is 0. Your final answer here when you divide is your answer is x squared plus x plus 1. That's all. There is no reminder here. Okay. Now let's do another problem here. So here your uh, terms are your div div dividend is 5x cubed minus 6x squared minus 28x minus 2. Okay, you are going to divide this by x plus 2. Right? Now what should you multiply the x to get 5x cubed? This time you need to get a coefficient to 5x cubed. So you multiply the x with 5x squared, right? To get the 5x cubed. So again you multiply the whole thing with this 5x squared. So you get 5x cubed. 5x squared times uh, 2 will give you plus 10x squared, right? Now we need to change the sign. Since you need to subtract, you have to change the sign. So it becomes like this. So this is cancelled. So you would get minus 6x square minus 10x square right so that is minus 16x squared okay now bring down the next term so that is minus 28x so here again how can we make this x into minus 16x square so you need to multiply the x by minus 16x Multiply this with minus 16x. You get minus 16x squared. And minus 16x times 2 will give you minus 32x, right? Change the sign again for the second equation. This becomes positive and this becomes positive again. This will get cancelled. And now you have minus 28 and plus 34. So that's a plus 4x, right? Yeah. Now you have to bring down the last term which is minus 2. What should you multiply this x so that you get 4x? You need to multiply by 4, right? So that's a 4 plus 4 here. So when you multiply it becomes 4x plus 8. Okay. This is plus 8. And now again you need to subtract 
the change the sign okay so what happens is 4x is cancelled and you're left with minus 10 here so this would be your reminder okay you have reminder for this problem so here your answer is 5x squared minus 16x plus 4 with the reminder minus 10 now you have done three problems I'll tell you what, uh, if you get the reminder as 0, in the second problem you got the reminder as 0, right? In that case you can say that x minus 1, the div divisor, is the factor of that dividend, okay? If your, x, if your reminder is 0, it means that the divisor is a factor of the dividend, understood? So with this let us do one more problem here. They ask you to check whether the first polynomial given here is a factor of the second polynomial. So for this, uh, since it is under long method, long division method, what you need to do is you are going to divide the second, the bigger polynomial by the first one and show that the remainder is 0. If you get the remainder as 0, you can say it is a factor, otherwise you can say it is not, okay? See that you don't miss any powers. Okay, here it has got all. So you needn't fill in with zero. Otherwise, you should fill in with zero. Okay, so that's a plus 2x plus 2 here. And you're going to divide this by the divisor x squared plus 3x plus 1. Right? So let us see. Now, what should you multiply the x squared with so that you get 3x raised to 4? So, that would be 3x squared, right? Yeah. So, multiply, when you multiply, you get 3x raised to 4. And you have to multiply throughout this with this 3x squared. So, that will be plus 9x cubed. Then, you have plus 3x squared, right? Okay, now what happens? You have to change the sign. Don't forget that. Change the sign of the t all terms in the second line. So it is all negative now. So this will get cancelled. Plus 5x cubed minus 9x cubed will be give you minus 4x cubed. Okay. Okay, next, you have minus 7x squared minus 3x squared. So, that's a minus 10x squared. Right? So, in the second step, we are going to bring down this term. So, that will be plus 2x. What should you multiply this x squared with so that you get minus 4x cubed? So, you have to multiply minus 4x. So, you get the same term minus 4x square for, for the first one. The rest may not be same. Okay. So, that is minus 4x plus 3x is minus 12x squared. Then minus 4x times uh, 1 is minus 4x. So, again change the sign here. So, this is cancelled. So, here you get plus 12x square right so that is 2x square and here again it is plus 6x now bring down the last term 2 so you need to multiply the 2x square by 2 so that's a plus 2 there to get 2x squared so you get 2x squared then 2 times 3x is plus 6x oh you get the same plus right so what happens when you subtract, change the sign. This x, 2x squared and x squared will get cancelled. Your 6x and minus 6x also will get cancelled. And you have plus 2 and minus 2 that is also cancelled. So your f reminder is 0. I said if the reminder is 0 then x squared. Uh, plus 3x plus 1 is a factor of uh, 3x raised to 4 plus 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 2. Okay. 
So it is a factor. So your answer is it is a factor. So that's it. Hope you understood this properly, the long division. Uh, we can just um, see how to do the synthetic division in the next video. Till then, bye.